Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya Husmat, a final year medical student here again with a new video. Getting vaccinated is one of the simple yet effective way to fight this pandemic. Vaccination helps to prepare immune system by producing antibodies to fight against the infection. Moreover, getting COVID vaccination is known to reduce the severity of infection and even reduce the risk of hospitalization. Currently, Indian government has approved only two vaccines, the Covishield and the Covaxin. But if you are still in doubt about these vaccines or if you are confused which one is better than the other, here is a quick video to help you out. As you might be aware, Covishield and Covaxin are the two vaccines approved in India. There is, however, there is third vaccine from Russia that is Sputnik V which is approved recently by the drug controller of India. Now this vaccine might take some time to be available in the general public. Firstly, let's understand vaccine type and its technology or the way by which it is prepared. Firstly, Covishield. Covishield is a type of harmless virus which is modified with the COVID-19 spike protein to boost the antibodies in humans. Whereas Covaxin is the dead or inactivated part of the whole COVID virus which is given to boost the production of our antibodies. Who should get vaccinated? According to the current guidelines, anyone above the age of 45 are eligible to get vaccinated and they should get vaccinated without fail. But from May 1st, 2021, every person above the age of 18 is eligible to get vaccinated. How many doses should you take? Like most other vaccines, both the COVID vaccines should be given intramuscularly, mostly recommended the arms, the upper arm in two doses. You need to take two doses of the same vaccine for the vaccination schedule to be completed. It is because after the second or third week of the second dose, the adequate immune response is developed in the body. The second dose schedule, Covishield is from 6 to 8 weeks after the first dose whereas Covaxin is from 4 to 6 weeks after the first dose. Are there any side effects? Yes. Like any other vaccines, there are some side effects seen post-vaccination. Side effects of Covishield Some mild symptoms that may occur are pain and tenderness at the site of injection. There might be fever, tiredness, pain, muscle pain all over the body. There might be joint pains, nausea, chills. These are some of the mild symptoms which might be seen. In very rare cases, neurological complications have been seen. Side effects of Covaxin. Some immediate symptoms which you see are pain and swelling at the site of injection, fever, headache, tiredness, there is nausea, abdominal pain, there might be chills, sweating, pain all over the body and cold, cuff can be seen after the Covaxin. Does Covishield cause blood clots? There were several reported cases in Europe which claimed that there was formation of uh, blood clots post-vaccination. However, there is no evidence that these people got blood clots because of vaccination or they were prone to blood clots before vaccination. Who should not take the vaccine? COVID-19 vaccination is contraindicated in cases such as who have allergic reaction or anaphylaxis to various other vaccines. COVID vaccine is temporarily contraindicated in persons who are having the infection or who are waiting for their results and those who are hospitalized and those who have gone through the plasma therapy. Covishield is to be given with caution to those who have low platelet count. Covaxin when being given to those taking the drugs such as chloroquine and corticosteroids, make sure you talk to your doctor before getting vaccinated. Which is better, Covishield or Covaxin? However, there is no head-to-head -head comparison till now made for both the vaccines, but both are known to reduce the severity of infection and the aim is to prevent the deaths of elderly and those having the comorbidities like diabetes, lung disease, etc. Post-vaccination tips to follow. Again, it is the basics. Wear your mask, wash your hands frequently 
and don't fail to take your second dose and keep in mind you have to take the second dose of the same vaccine which you have taken earlier. Getting vaccinated is a one small step to get back the original state of our society. Make sure to vaccinate yourself and your family members who are eligible to get vaccinated. Thank you and I urge you all to take the vaccine and take both the doses to prevent you and your family from any losses.